Hey man, what's good? It's your boy LJ. Or LJ on the track, ever, you know. You wanna call me, you know? LJ on the track. LJ on the motherfucking track. You know, that's me. But basically, today, I wanted to show you guys a trick I learned in Hypersonic 2. For people that can't, you know, bring up multiple instances of Hypersonic 2 and it always crashes and does whatever. This, you're not even supposed to use multiple instances unless you're trying to use like. 50 different instruments, but here's the trick. We'll just get straight into it. Basically, bring up hypersonic. Okay. First things first, do this because a lot of you guys gonna have this problem. Go to mix. And uh some people try to bring it up and they only have four. Just want to show you what I'm talking about. Most people have four, and if you have 16, don't worry about it. But you go to setup and turn all of these to S's to stereo output all the way across. Okay, so basically, uh, hypersonic, you know, you can load multiple instruments. Like, uh, I'll load this, I'll load some very different stuff. Let me load a piano, and I'll load, sorry, that was my phone, and uh, let me load a mallet. All right, we got three different instruments here. You know, you can mute that, mute, get this. Oh. And then we got. Alright, you know, you got all these different sounds. So basically, from here, <clears throat> you need to pull up two extra MIDI outs. Because I only have three, but as many as you need. And I'm going to name them. Um, piano and vibraphone. Piano and uh, vibraphone. Let me change the color just so I won't get confused. Alright. Vibraphone. Next thing you have to do, go here, change the import to one or whatever you want. But just make sure it corresponds down to the media else that you just created. So we got port one and we'll put sound two here. Port one, sound three. So we just have the piano here. All right, and we still got our first sound here. That hard solo lead sound. But if you look at the mixer channels, they're all played on the same exact one. Let me put it on, you know, put it on one. Okay. They're all in the same mixer channel. And the, what I'm going to show you is how to get them on each individual mixer channel with only one hypersonic. From here, what you do is go to mix. You want this one on media out one, this one on media out two. This one on media out three, all on different media outs. Then from here you go at the top of the wrapper, you click the little little tool looking thing. I don't know, sprocket, I don't know what it's called. And then you go to uh, processing. Click auto map outputs right here. This is actually the first one, so I actually have to switch these. I don't know why it does that. And so forth, so on and so forth. For whichever, uh, whatever you have I'm just gonna leave these I'm gonna make these blank you don't have to do this but that's just what I do okay <clears throat> here's where the magic happens because like you might want to use certain effects on certain instruments or whatever so actually uh I think I, you get the point. I actually meant to put that one here, but I accidentally switched them. But basically, they're on their own separate mixer tracks. Now, you can use one hypersonic and you can mix it however you want. Add whatever effects you have your waves, bundles, blah, blah, blah. You know, if I want to add uh, brightness. You know, 
to anything actually like I actually meant to put it here I want to add brightness to this little heart solo lead or if I wanted to sorry I had the hiccups see the piano I want to add a I don't know, put a telephone effect on it, I don't know. I can do that, and it's all coming from one hypersonic, it's all you need. Uh, I don't know why nobody's ever made this video, I just figured it out. It's not really that hard. So, yeah. There you go, so now you guys can play around and you can save it. And open it back up. So all you need to do, and I'm done. Peace.